Welcome to Nighttime for Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. I'm Nicholas Marlins with your school news and announcements for closing our team at 6 12 Academy. Students, you may begin returning your mobile devices if you no longer need them. Return your mobile device to the main office with the charger. You can continue to use your device throughout the last day of school if you need it, but you're encouraged to return them sooner. All students and staff at district issued computers must remember to plug the devices into a power source and turn them on overnight between June 1st and June 9th. Updates will be installed on the computers during this time. Keep your school computer plugged in to prevent it from running out of charge and turning off in the middle of the update. Please remember to bring a self-addressed stamped envelope to hand into your first period teacher so that your report card for the fourth nine weeks can be mailed home during the summer. There's a lot going on in the world. In this issue of Planet Report, Alexander tells us about an oil refinery fire in Iran. I'm Alexander Gordillo of Planet Report. The Associated Press is reporting that a massive fire at an oil refinery near Iran's capital burned into a second day Thursday as firefighters struggled to extinguish the flames. The fire began at the state-owned Tanguyan Petrochemical Company to the south of Tehran on Wednesday night, sending a huge plume of black smoke into the sky over the capital. The oil ministry's Shana News Agency said that the fire broke out over a leak in two waste tanks at the facility. Authorities initially suggested that the flames affected a liquefied petroleum gas pipeline at their fire. The head of Tehran's emergency medical services said 11 people were injured with foreign hospitals. It wasn't immediately clear what started the blaze. Temperatures in Tehran reached nearly 104 degrees Fahrenheit on Wednesday. Hot summer weather in Iran has caused fires in the past. The blaze camp the same day a fire struck the largest warship in the Iranian, Iranian Navy, which later sank in the Gulf of Oman. That's all for Planner Report. Back to you. Thank you, Alexander. The 6th and 7th grade drive-by pickup and drop-off will take place on Monday, June 7th, starting at 1.30 p.m. Come by if you receive an award, bought a yearbook, or have a school device to return. All school devices are due back. 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students will have their drive-by event on Tuesday, June 8th, starting at 1.30 p.m. Please come by if you receive an award, bought a yearbook, or have a school device to return. 8th grade drive-by celebration will be on Wednesday, June 9th, starting at 1.30 p.m. We want to celebrate your success. Please remember to decorate your vehicles. 8th grade students who received an award or bought a yearbook will receive them during the drive-by. There's also a special surprise for the students who responded yes to the 8th grade class survey. Please contact Dr. Lopez with any questions about the 8th grade drive-by celebration. Be sure to check out the Music Club tribute to the graduating seniors on our YouTube channel. Enjoy vocal performances and instrumental pieces of some of your favorite songs of the season in this great production, thanks to the Music Club and its press. Our TV production family also includes musicians and Manuja Chop from our period four class recorded this performance.
just a few more days and a few more copies left of our 2021 yearbook. Order by this Saturday, June 5th to pick up next week, following the distribution schedule. I miss so students can pick up their book at the scheduled drive through dates. Sixth and seventh grade students will pick up their books on Monday, June 7th, starting at 1.30. Ninth and tenth grades will pick up their books on Tuesday, June 8th, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eighth grade students will pick up their books on Wednesday, June 9th, starting at 1.30 p.m. MSO seniors are invited to pick up their book during the day on Monday, June 7th. Please contact Ms. Morales if you have any questions. Please support Silver Lining, the group of eight high school students working to resolve mental health issues as part of the Aspen Challenge. Follow them, Silver Lining JMMA, on Instagram, and most importantly, use your website to access mental health resources and complete self-care challenges to improve your wellness. In the end, it's all about you, because you can be your own Silver Lining. If you participate, your name will be put into a drawing for monthly prizes. And before we go, let's check out the conditions outside. Here's Alex with your nightline weather. I'm Alex Cantone with your nightline weather. It's 80 degrees and partly cloudy with 83% humidity as we begin the day. High temperatures will be in the mid 80s today. The high is projected to be 84 with partly cloudy skies. Expect some isolated thunderstorms in the early afternoon. The overnight low is expected to be 78. Winds today will be coming from the southeast with gusts up to 14 miles per hour. Now for your three day look ahead. Only 24% chance of rain when our seniors walk at graduation this Friday. The high is expected to reach 86 and an overnight low of 78. Conditions continue unchanged for the weekend with Saturday and Sunday expected to reach a high of 85 and an overnight low of 79. That's all for your nightline weather. That's it for us today. We'll see you next time.